The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short Goldmine presentations, giving you hints and tips for getting the most out of Goldmine. And this morning I'm going to cover exporting data from Goldmine. Hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, are a specialist CRM systems supplier who help small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple to use affordable software solutions. This presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration. So it's just an overview of this feature, not meant to be in-depth training. My company, Wizard Systems, offer many extensive training options uh, should you want to explore those with us. Now the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you have any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Probably best to type them in as soon as you think of them rather than waiting till the uh, very end. If any late questions come through, I'll answer those separately via email. Um, also at the end, I'll be giving you an update on any Goldmine product news we've got for you, keeping you up to date. And this call is being recorded after the presentation. You will get an email um, sent to you by our system with a link to recording, um, probably will be about a day or so after the, um, it's not immediately after the uh, the end, but you get that email um, with a link to recording and you can share it with your colleagues. We'll most likely pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. Just very briefly, I mentioned about uh, our organization, my organization, with Assistance. We're a top supplier of CRM systems. Um, we have been working with Goldmine for a long, long time. We've got over, we've implemented well over 3,000 Goldmine installations all over the UK and further afield. Um, we're here to help you to get the most out of Goldmine, and we offer any kind of help around Goldmine, upgrades, integrations, customization of Goldmine, report writing, and so on. We do actually supply a range of add-on options to uh, gold mine. So uh, please contact us if you want any of those. We offer any kind of training on gold mine, any level that could, the training can be at your location or our location. We're based near Bristol, the UK, or it could be online if that's more convenient for you. And finally, we offer a friendly, responsive, uh, permanently manned gold mine help desk for answering your questions. Okay, so let's get into Goldmine then and cover exporting in a little bit more detail. So the standard export feature of Goldmine will export your primary contact information. So that's the information. If you're looking at a contact record, that's the information in the top half of the screen, the information on notes, and also we do support now additional contact exports as well. Remembering Goldmine, um, and some of you may be using Goldmine in this way, um, you have a concept of the primary contact at a company, the person you deal with most often, but there may be additional contacts at that site. So maybe more miscellaneous contacts, if you like. It is possible to have multiple contact records, primary records for a company, and join them together with a graphic, with a, with a visual organization tree. Those are the two ways of managing multiple contacts at an organization, either through um, primary contact records linked together with an organization tree or the additional contacts. The export feature will, will export, uh, of course, both. So to access your export feature on your file menu, you would go down to export and export contact records. 
We have a little wizard, nothing to do with our company name. A wizard, it would just take you through step by step um, through this process to with your choices and, and creating the export file for you. Now, the first decision you need to make is what format of data you want to export in. That may be primarily decided by what you want to do or where is what application is this data going to go into. The safest one, the safest format option to choose is CSV, comma, separated values. So if you were to look at it in a text file, all of the fields, company name, content name, whatever, they would be separated by a particular value, normally a comma. So it's a pretty standard format that should be accepted by 99.9% .9 of all other applications. So stick with CSV. DBase is very rarely used. ASCII, SDF, um, standard data format. They're, they're very rarely used these days. Anyway, so you click next. Next choice. Um, are you exporting the whole database or more commonly you would restrict that to a particular filter um, or group? So you have to have knowledge of filters and groups to do this. You could also restrict it to a merge code. It's possible against your contact records to um, have a merge code or codes against them so you could further restrict um, your extraction on that. Click next. This is the important bit here. So this is where we will see the goldmine fields, the labels as you may see them on the screen. Um, and then over in this blank box at the moment, that's where I'm going to see um, the, the information appear. I, I can actually see the mappings or I can actually preview as I'm doing it, the live data. Um, that, that is in those records. So, well, quite simple. You just double click on these um, field labels here to select them for that um, export. So obviously company name, contact name, and so on. So um, we can also create expressions as well. You can actually get quite clever with this um, uh, export. And I click next. Now I'm happy with those fields that I've selected. I click next. Now I need to choose a destination on your PC or your server for this export. So I would just select that and I would type in the name of the um, export. Let's call it 101.csv. You don't necessarily need to put in the .csv, but that is the file extension that will um, uh, will correct the label and, and uh, denote this, this file format. Hit save, and we're nearly there. Um, you can also export the goldmine field names. Uh, that will be in the first row. So if you look at it in Excel, that's quite a common thing with it, with um, with uh, certain exports. You can export that um, that first row there. So hit next. Um, do you want to save these settings? Maybe you're doing this on a regular basis. So you could choose a, a particular file name. It's going to save you time, basically, on the next time you do this export. Uh, I'm going to say no. Hit next. Hit finish. Job done. That now has been exported. Um, we could go to our um, file folder of that, and that will all be done. So that's very simply how you would do an export using the export wizard in Goldmine. Now, you'll appreciate that there may be other elements of information that you've been using in Goldmine that you may want to export for this, whatever the purpose is of your export. Um, for example, um, the pending tab, the history tab, emails, activities, opportunities, as well. Um, you may have some custom tabs as well with some custom fields or rows on that. The basic export feature in Goldmine will not support those. Um, we at Wizard Systems, that's where we at Wizard, Wizard Systems will come in to assist you. We have extra tools 
um, that allow us to export anything in your goldmine system. We would ha obviously have to still have a little conversation with you to find out exactly what you're trying to achieve there. What's the objective of this export? Where is it going to go? What application is going to be using that data to further advise you? Because we do this all the time, um, helping people exporting and, and importing data um, out and into their goldmine system. So um, export wizard in goldmine just works on the main contact data stuff in the top half of your screen there notes and now we do support additional contacts so um there we are that's the export wizard in goldmine as i do on these sessions um i'd love to answer any questions you've got um specifically around our topic today but uh you can ask me anything um within reason about goldmine uh, pop those questions there into your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those. Um, first question from Anthony. I see it exports additional contacts. We have separate addresses against these. Will it export that as well? Uh, yes, it will, Anthony. It will. Um, yeah, so, so basically on those additional contacts, it is by default, it, they will inherit they would, Goldmine will assume they're at the same address as the primary contact. So in my example, Tim Wilmot, blah, blah, blah. So it would assume that um, those additional contacts are on this. But it is possible to, of course, put in separate addresses for these people that may be at a different site. Maybe they may work from a home address or whatever. Um, yes, you can export that. And of course, um, their email address will, will go over as well. Uh, so that's OK. Um, Simon. I have an import question. Um, do I have to have the columns in Excel match the goldmine label names? No, you don't. Um, it's quite um, uh, it's quite flexible. So, however, whatever format or order those columns are in Excel doesn't matter as long as you know what they represent um, in the import. Um, you, you get to a mapping screen and that's where you link, that's where you associate what, how you called it. You would do it in, well, there is an Excel import in Goldmine, so that would be quite easy. Um, or you might select the import wizard in Goldmine and choose the CSV format. Having previously saved your Excel spreadsheet as a .csv file, quite straightforward. Um, in Excel, but uh, no, it doesn't need to be identical there. Um, Elsa, can we remove the user ability to export data? Yes, of course you can. There's extensive options in Goldmine to um, limit what users can or can't do, um, and export data is one of them. Uh, Vance or Va Vance, um, what about using the export to Excel feature in a contact search window? Um, yes, yeah, so there is that there is that feature to export where you see a like a, a table or a grid type view of information. You're doing a search for contacts in the contact search center. Um, yeah, you can right click and um, export to Excel. Um, the main thing to be aware of is that the columns you see may not be, you've you got to make sure, uh, you've got to make sure that all of the columns there, that, that contains all the data. Um, using the export wizard is just gives you a little bit more control, but um, you are correct, Vance, that may be another option um, I haven't covered in this, in this short presentation. Right. I don't think there's any more questions coming through there. Um, so if I can give you an update on any um, goldmine news before I finish. So we have a, an advanced goldmine training course next Tuesday. Um, and this will cover, it does sort of loosely cover um, importing data, not necessarily exporting data. We do 
cover that on an admin course, but all the advanced aspects of Goldmine. Um, that's next Tuesday full day course at our Bristol location. Latest release of Goldmine is 2019.1. So check are you are you on the latest release? The only way of getting updates for Goldmine is to make sure that you've got a Goldmine, an annual Goldmine maintenance contract. So this is something that you can purchase through Wizard Systems and it will ensure that you've got access to the latest Goldmine versions and the ability for us to escalate, um, to, to pass on escalated support to Goldmine headquarters. Um, so a couple of benefits there of getting on a maintenance contract. Um, don't worry if you haven't got one, please contact Wizard Systems for more details on a Goldmine maintenance service. Um, and also, as always, if you've got any suggestions for future topics like this that would be popular to the Goldmine community at large, please email um, suggestions to me, tim at wizard-systems.com. In fact, if I give you all of our contact details, there we go. So my name is Tim Wilmot. Company name is Wizard Systems, supplier of Goldmine and other CRM solutions. Uh, well, thanks very much for your time this morning. Um, if you're watching this as a recording, if you want any more information on Goldmine um, or CRM, please contact us. But thanks very much for watching and look out for that recording. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.